the scattergram how this data shows up visually so we can basically check out the graph so in order to graph we need x and y and clearly we have x and y so x i level one through six and the reason i level one through six even though it doesn't start one i really see one to six so that's one to six then y axis y always goes up and down so y is i have not range is not that big so each of them i put one two three we are just a range actually or you know leveling based on how big the number is so i just leave it like that now i am going to just plot simple basic algebra concept just plotting point that would be my scatter ground so two five two is what two is x so that's a two and i'm going to go off five so that's five i can put a dot i can put a rectangle anyway is fine and three is nine so three is going to give me nine one is going to give me six one is giving me six that that's the respond here and four when x is four response is 12 response is 12 and when x is five response is 10 x is five response is 10 down here when x is 6, response is 8. x is 6, response is 8. That is the simplest way. We can just plot it. Now, clearly, we see this is not in a line. It, it is it's in a line, a straight line. You can just connect it. But we don't have a line. So I can draw a line just right here, maybe. I feel like this is going to be the best fitted data. Okay? I feel like this is going to be the best fitted data. Or someone said, oh, no, I'm going to move it down here to the left here, okay? Or someone said, oh, no, I'm going to have this something like that, okay? So question is, which one is the best fitted data? We're going to have to figure that out by using the least square criteria. So that's why we're going to head down here. So of course, I'm going to erase it. We don't know which one is the best line it be. So next thing, we're going to find the linear regression equation by least square criteria linear regression equation given this shared data value and the scatter ground below so we are trying to find an equation of a line that will best model or find a relationship between all these data pair we are trying to find a straight linear model so well if we go back a little bit with our algebraic concept, so y equal to mx plus b, this is like a slope intercept form or in algebra. So we do this one for a straight line. In other words, that time we have all the dot in a straight line, but this time we are not lucky. We don't have all the dot in a straight line. So we are going to actually find a regression line that will best fit into this, you know, this table. So this one has a little bit different than this one. So we say, we say y hat is equal to ax plus b so why do i put down this one on the top i want to see the slope look at this this is instead of m i have a x is same plus b in b is the same y intercept now some book has this one is a bx plus a which is almost same same thing but b this time becomes your slope so whatever on the left side of the variable x we call it slope that's no confusion well, now I'm going to use this way, and now I need A and B. So how do you find the A and B? So we need A, basically, is going to give us the slope form. So what is the slope form? A is equal to N of times, well, you can put parentheses or uh, no parentheses, it don't mean, you know, make any difference, some of the product of x y minus sum of x times sum of y in other words for over sum of x sum of y over n number of data points times sum of x squared minus sum of x to the power 2 notice that we have to be very careful here this one and this one is different sum of x square means you square each number first then add sum of x means you just add it right there so that's the difference so the next thing we find the b so how do we find the b b is basically intercept is going to be sum of y minus what we found here a is going to be right here a 
times sum of x. We have everything basically we can pull out from this table. We just have to create a column with the rows. So let's take a look what else we need. So we need sum of x, y, sum of x, sum of y. So we need 1, 2, 3, and sum of x squared. So four column, at least four column. We need to create a four column. So if I create a four column down here, it's going to be first one we're going to have x and then we're going to have a y then sum of x y we're just going to multiply it actually x times y sum of x y and also we're going to find x square so that will give us intuition so that's the step by step we're going to work it out so i'm going to put down all the x values down here all the x values down here and i'm going to put down all the y values up here and then I'm going to just multiply it. I'm just multiplying it here. So 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 9 is 27. 6 times 1 is 6. 4 times 12 is 48. 5 times 10 is 50. 6 times 8 is 48. And squaring. So if I square all those number, 2 squared is 4. So again, I'm going to square this number here. So 2 squared, I'm going to use a different ink. Square is 4. Then it's going to give us a 9. 1 squared is 1. 4 squared is 16. And 5 squared is 25. And 6 squared is 36. Notice that almost all of those them has a summation. So that means we're going to add. We have to add all of them. So let's actually add all of this here. Okay. So I'm going to add all of this up here. So this sum of x, it's going to give me 21. Sum of y will give me 50. Sum of x times y is going to give me 189. Sum of x squared is going to give me 91. That's all we need. All this information I have, I'm going to just substitute here and there to find my slope and find my y-intercept. So let's take a look here. If I just substitute it here, a is equal to, so a is equal to n, which is the data point. We're going to check out here. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be my 6 here. So 6 open parentheses we have sum of x y here sum of x y so sum of x y 189 so i'm going to put down 189 here 189 minus sum of x in this case sum of x is given as a 21 so i'm going to put down 21 here times sum of y which is 50 over, I'm going to put down n is 6 times sum of x squared. I have to be very careful. This is sum of x squared. We don't have to square this 91 anymore. This is already squared and we added. So that's a 91 here. Minus sum of x, in this case 21. So we're just going to put inside the parentheses. So this is going to be 21 right inside the parentheses, 21. And then we're going to square. Notice that. I'm squaring this sum of x, but I am not squaring. It's already 91, so it's just 91. So if I just plug it in, in any calculator, and I did ahead of time, it's going to give me 0 0.80 approximately. Intercept B, we're going to plug in sum of y. So that's sum of y. 50 minus the slope, which is A, and sum of x, which is 21, over 6. So let's plug this in b is equal to sum of y which is sum of y and sum of x that would give us 50 minus a is 0 0.80 0 0.80 times 21 over 6 
so that would be approximately so b is approximately 5.53 so now we can check out how we can plug this in so this is the y-intercept b and that is the slope so all we do we just plug it in b and also we're gonna plug it in a so once plug it in a is 0 0.80 full x plus b is 5.53 that is our regression equation so I can write this rewrite it y hat is equal to 0 0.80x plus 5.53 if we get many decimal you know a lot of decimal point we can just round two decimal or three decimal as possible so we're going to actually next we're going to find the best fitted line the regression line line regression equation by using a long process we found our slope we found our y intercept now we are going to draw the line so in order to draw the line no matter which line we draw the mean of this point is going to always go through this least square line so we need one we're going to use one point by using the mean and also we're going to use another point with any x values exploratory variable a substitute into the regression equation that satisfy we're going to find y then we plot it and we connect it let's find this one so if we look into this sum of x or of course mean is what sum of x over n so sum of x if i add all of this what i'm adding all of this here that should give me 21 and that would be 21 over 6 y6 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 number comma if i add all of this y value is going to be sum of x is 50 and of course it's going to be 50 over same reason is going to be 6 so this is fraction well it's going to be hard so better we convert it to decimal so if i convert it to decimal it's going to give me 3.5 which is easy to see in the grid comma 8.33 so this is the point i'm going to use that will definitely go through the line i'm going to draw so that's one that is the x mean of the x bar this mean of the y bar so what is the number? I'm going to actually pick up this 5. So I'm going to pick up this 5 and I'm going to substitute into the x as I see. So my y hat, in this case, my y is going to be 0.80x or 8x. Of course, x is what? x is in this case is going to be open parentheses 5. Plus 5.53, 5.53, and of 333, so on. So if I work it out, it's going to give me 9.3, sorry, 9.53, 9.53. That is what? That is the y hat. So I have my 5, comma, 9.53. So this is another point I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this point, and of course I'm going to use this point to plot it. So let's take a look here. How can we plot it here? So I'm going to use different ink here. This time I'm going to with the black. So five point, sorry, three point five. So what is three point five? Three point five is right here in the middle. So I go off and all of it, 8.33, 8.33 most probably is going to be this one. So I'm going to put down this cross mark here. Then I'm going to go down here for 5 and 9.53. So 5 is this one here, 9.53. So I go all the way off, 9.53. 9.53 is just in the middle, little above in the middle. 
Bingo, I got my tool for and to that off with here. I think that would be nice enough. So why I can see this is nice enough, I can actually look into this y-intercept. So y-intercept is 5.53. So look, this is the y-intercept. It's 5.53, it's just touching here. So that would be that would model the baseline be, between relationship between this x and y values.